Hey everybody, so today I'm going to do a review on my new Erin Condren t-shirt planner that I got at Target for $29.99. And I'm going to kind of go over that and show you guys what it looks like. And then I'm also going to show you guys what I used last year, which was my Recollections planner that I got from Michaels. And to be honest, I actually like the Michaels planner better. I went to look for it. I haven't seen it in the store and I kind of went online and I didn't see it online either. So I decided that... I would look for the Erin Condren because I know it's kind of similar and I've had them before not as teachers regular planners but they're pricey right they're $55 plus shipping and then you want to add your extras and you wind up spending a lot of money and this was like $30 and I'm sure I used a coupon for this last year and probably got it for $15 or $17 I'm sure so first I'm going to kind of go over the Michaels recollection planner and the thing I liked about this planner is they're very very similar but this one is just a little more colorful and fun so Okay, so when you open up this planner, you have your dashboard here, I think, and you have this clear plastic pocket, and that is something that does not come with the Erin Condren Target planner, is this plastic pocket. And then you have your information here, and you have a password tracker. I do not use that because I leave my planner on my desk, and I don't, my students sometimes will go at my desk, and I don't want the passwords so their are grades and everything else um, where people can see them. So I don't not keep them in my planner because I keep my planner out. Uh, substitute tips, and I think I started this a little later. I filled this out after I started for school, so some of the stuff isn't filled out. And it was a weird year last year, especially having like remote learning, and if I had a substitute, they were kind of just watching the kids in the room. They weren't connecting with the kids that were online and Zooming because they didn't have the Zoom access. Next we have the classroom volunteers and special events. This is something I don't generally use too much because I don't use classroom volunteers I actually teach high school and one of the things I find is that these books are seem to be geared more towards elementary students and I'll kind of go over why I feel that way as we go through the books both books here you have um, birthdays uh, I do use that section I try to write all my students birthdays down so I know when they are and that's why I have these sticky notes because I want to kind of cover up their names the next thing that they have which I really liked was they had all the student contacts this is a blank page. I used all the other pages. There's actually four, several pages of these, um, but I just want to show you what they were. And I just like, again, I really love the colors of the book. These are kind of my favorite colors. On this page, you have a bunch of stickers that will fit inside. And again, I just love the colors. They match the scheme of the book. And I just really like these particular colors. And that's what drew me to this book. And if I found another book that has similar colors, I would definitely want to get the Recollections book again. And here's some more stickers. And you can see I kind of hoard my stickers. I'm really going to try to use my stickers this year. I tend to hoard my stickers. And then I don't use the book. When I finish the book, they kind of go with the book. And I never use them. So I'm definitely going to use them as much as I can. A lot of times I use them when I make a mistake to cover up my mistakes. Here we have the emojis and the different symbols. And then you have the pocket. The target Erin Condren does not have the pocket, only the one that you order from their website and pay more money for. I like having the pocket. I stick a lot of stuff in here. I've emptied it out for the video. And then here we have, okay, an absent log. I don't use this um, because I just have a separate grade book that I use. They don't give you enough pages for high school teachers because I have a lot of students and I have a lot of assignments and stuff. So I use a separate grade book and I will do a video showing the grade book I use, which is a three line grade book where I can put the assignments and put if they're in class or absent or not. So I don't use this because it's just not enough to go through all my students for the whole year. Now we have a graphs and notes, seating charts. I don't know if I'll, I didn't use this last year because we were in a remote hybrid model. So I didn't use the seating chart. I don't know if I will this year. And then I like having these note pages because I do take notes when we have like PD and department meetings and school staff meetings. Usually I would write notes and I'd put them in a folder, but this year I think I'm going to try to keep them in the planner. Uh, year plan. You have your year at a glance. I didn't fill that out. Okay, so now you have there. So before each month, you have your objectives of the month, things to do, important dates. I really like the setup of how this is laid out. And again, the colors, you have your months. It starts in July. This is undated 
like the Erin Condren Target one is also undated. Here I had to write it in. I didn't do anything for July and August. I will just show you. Here I wrote them in. I'm not going to I'm kind of covering this up because I have a student here and I would write in like my PPTs and all my meetings for students PPTs. I teach special ed so I have a lot of PPTs and testing dates and stuff and then you know different events that are going on throughout the year. And you have the following. Every month is the same. So they're all the same and you have to write the dates and I'm not going to go through them because I did use them and I have student names and stuff in here. I don't think I wrote in anything for... And they're color coded by the different colors each a different color. Yeah, each month has a different color up here and um, a color theme. So I didn't write anything in for June. And then you have your lesson plans. And I really like the way this is set up. Again, I like the colors that is in here. I like the way that it says the week. Um, and then you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the five, I'll show you the difference, the Erin Condren and stuff, um, a little bit different in this aspect. It gives you six different subject periods. I usually teach five classes. So I had plenty of room for like my different classes and then I would write, you know, what I did in each one. Called a student or a parent, I would leave the notes down here. If I worked one-on-one -on -one with a student, I would write that all in there too. But let's see, I did, so I did 38 weeks and I still had a lot of pages left, if you can see. So this was like 38 weeks and there was still plenty after 38 weeks. So there's plenty of room in here. And then let's see what we have here. They give you this assignment. Again, I can't use this. I have I given it like a math assignment just about every single day. So I need a lot, a whole nother book for this. I wish they did give you enough pages so that you could keep it all in one, but they don't. So plus I think it's kind of easy because my grade, this is heavy and bulky and I wouldn't carry this around with me, but I generally leave this at school and work on this in my school. I don't take it back and forth with me because it's bulky. So having the separate, separate grade book is easier because it's a lot better and easy to carry around. Because they only give you like one, two, three, four, five, like six pages. Oh, not many pages at all. So that's one of the reasons why I think this is geared more towards elementary school kids because they don't give you that much on the assignment checklist. And if you only teach like one class and you have your students here, well obviously this is going to be plenty for assignments and assessments, but it's not enough if you teach like middle school and high school. So this is the Michaels Planner. Again, if I could find this, um, I would probably, and they use the same pretty color scheme, I would get this again, but I can't find it. Um, so if anybody does see these, let me know. Okay. So here we go with the Erin Condren. And again, it's pretty similar, I think, to the one you get online. And they're set up pretty similar. You have your page, your here's your dashboard. Um, I would probably put maybe my schedule here. The bell schedule, we're actually going to a new bell schedule this year with the times. You have your same thing, your resources, your websites, passwords. Again, I'm not going to put those in because I don't want people seeing my passwords. And your classroom volunteers, contact information, classroom events, and date information, which I can put in. This one has a communication log, so that's kind of nice. I like having that in there because I do do a lot of... I do contact parents and we have to log in online when you contact a parent with email or phone call you would always log in online but I could as I'm doing them I can do it here and then I can always have a record here and then for quick lookup and then I can go in and put them online. This is a year at a glance so this if you bought this from Erin Condren you would have the January February kind of months here but the way here it's set up you can set it up yourself so Instead of having it start, and I believe the one, if you get it from her, I want to say I saw a video where it started with like January, where you would want to start it with July or August, whenever you're, or September, whenever school starts for you. Here's your graphing paper again. So that's all kind of similar to the other planner. Here you have some line paper. Now we go into the months. So you have kind of a line note page. Here's some dates to remember. So I could write in if there's like some sort of testing, SATs, PPTs. 
um, maybe some PPTs or different events that are going on, assemblies and stuff, you can write them down here. And then these are undated, but there's stickers for these, and I'll show you guys the stickers. And then here you have your month, and there's stickers that will go in here and for the dates. And now you have your like kind of lesson planning. I'm not as thrilled with this as the one in the Michaels planner. Again, I'll kind of show you. I like the setup of this better, how it had the subject and the period, and how it had the days that we kind of all printed in here. What I was thinking of using is, if you guys saw my printmaker video, um, I'm definitely going to try to maybe make up some stickers on my Cricut, possibly that will fit here that I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There's seven spaces here, so for every day of the week, um, I almost preferred having the five days here. And then, so I'm not quite sure how I want to set this up. I liked having like my periods down here, so I don't know if I'm going to use this column because there are extra ones and put like period one, two, three, you know, my, my five classes that I teach in this line and then start here. I'm not sure how I'm setting that up yet. But they are color coded for each of the tabs. So the pink tab will be pink inside and so on. You have all your months. And it's kind of nice that it's undated that you can start it off whatever month that you want to start it off with. And you know, so you always have this page. And then after the months, you always have a couple note pages, so you can either use them for meetings, and I'm going to try to put like my meeting notes and stuff, or any notes I'm going to keep in here instead of in folders in my desk. And again, we have the student checklist. I don't know what I would use this for. If I can find something to use, I will, but I'm not sure if I'll use these pages um, unless I do like their testing or something like that. For seven here. Again, if you teach elementary, that's more than enough. It's really not going to be enough for high school. Now we have our stickers, and I believe the stickers are the same in the same, whether you buy the book from them and pay $55 or you get the one at Target. These stickers are the same, and they have the gold foil, so they're, they're pretty nice. And you get these pages. And you have kind of the blank ones. I like these. Now these, I would imagine, fit, let's see if those, so these look like they fit in here, but there's not enough for every day of the year. So maybe if I can make a template and measure these out, I can kind of make something on like the Cricut or something. And then you have these blank ones. So these are kind of neat and I was trying to decide what I'm going to do with these. So maybe I can use these as the days of the week and put them up there. And I can use again my printmaker or I can print on here and write math or the days of the week. I'll, I'm going to use these for something. I think these are great that they have these blank ones. And then here are your numbers that go in and they're color coordinated. So if you look on the first month, it is, see, so it's, they match the tab, so you have the blue ones and so on, and that you can put the dates in here so you don't have to write those in. And then you have the months to put in here. You can put the months in here, and then you have, see these fold over, and these go on the tabs. So you would put like July, these go on these tabs. So that's kind of cool that they give you those stickers. And that's it, and then you have your back. So it's missing the folder, the pocket folder, and the plastic thing. I think that's really the only difference. And then, of course, if you bought it through them, it would be dated, and you would have, you could pay to have your, I don't know if you have to pay extra to have your name on it. So that is the difference um, between the two. And again, my preference would be the Michaels Recollections Planner, just because I like the colors in it, but they're pretty much similar. The Michaels one had the contact information and the Erin Condren had the like call list information. So that was one of the differences. But as you can see, like the paper quality is pretty much the same cardstock. They're both a nice cardstock. You can write on them. It's not going to bleed through. But one of the things I really liked about having the Erin Condren is I like being able to see the planner. Like when I went out and I found that they were selling this in Target, I went out and I was almost going to buy the one online. I saw they were similar, so I decided I was going to stick with this one instead of paying the extra $25 plus shipping, which would probably be $35. 
I'm okay with it being undated and I'm okay with not having my name engraved on it. I saw another video where they had a really nice planner that had a lot of I think things like pages of things that I would use but it was like a UK base and I wasn't it wasn't very colorful inside. Um, for me having the pretty colors is really nice. I kind of like that so I prefer having like something pretty and something more colorful. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this Erin Condren planner from Target for $29.99. It's a great deal. And then also this Michaels Recollection Planner, which I don't know if they're still making. If anybody sees that they are making them at their Michaels, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.